Ya le no chime. Shimo Panoltika. Welcome to now the third lesson. Now with alphabet and pronunciation. Let's learn the sounds. Let's learn the vowels and let's learn the pronunciation. Now, <clears throat> this is according to how I understand it, the different sounds. Um, also, as I've learned myself with other teachers. Um, again, you know, we're, we're using the Greek or Latin alphabet, the one that we use for English, the one that we use for Spanish. Um, now, here are the sounds. Um, if you have pen and paper, you have notebook, go ahead and take, bring it out. Um, we will practice a pronunciation with words, um, about two or three or four words per sound, so you can practice. So the first sound we have here is ah, ah, right? And this sound will never change. It'll always be ah. Ashlen, 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 Ayotli, Ayotli, Ayotli. Right, as I go along, you can go ahead and look at what it means on the right column. The next sound is a ch, ch. This is a similar sound in English, like chapter, chocolate, right? Uh, in Spanish as well, it's a, it's a ch sound, right? So it's a, it's the same sound in now chantly, chantly. Chantly, chantly, chantly. Chichi, chichi, chichi. Right, again, you can look at its meaning on the right column. Eh, eh, right? Every time you see this letter, it'll always be an eh sound, eh. It'll never change. Et, 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 ehecat, ehecat, ehecat. Right, here are the meanings. Now, you will also notice some words that are highlighted in yellow you will also notice that they are written differently. In the previous lesson, we went over the orthographies. Now, we will continue with the Inali, with the new orthography. And if it's written differently in classical orthography, you will see it highlighted in yellow, right? So, as I go along, also notice that as well. Again, with learning Nahuatl, um, it's also good to be aware of all the orthographies and get familiar with them because you will see it, see the words being written differently, but it's, just all, all, it's the same sound. E, right, E. So every time you see this letter, it's an E sound. Eastak, 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 Eastak. Itoka, 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 Itoka. Now, the next sound is an H sound. So it's like a soft H sound, like the English words heart, hurt, 
hit, hut, so just the beginning, the h, h with the voice. So think about for if you're also a Spanish speaker, a uh, J sound, a soft J sound, like in the personal name Juan. Now, if the H is inside of a word, <clears throat> it has a voice. Here are three examples. <clears throat> tla paloa, tla paloa, tla paloa, tla paloa. Wahka, 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 wahka. Nehnemi, 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 nehnemi. Tlamachtichket, 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 tlamachtichket. Right, so you'll see, you see here the CH sound, right? Always ch, right? Ch. Now, like in English, like sometimes when you see CH in English, uh, like in the word chrome, right? Um, it's a K sound, but in Nahuatl, it's always a ch sound. Um, <clears throat> also, you notice that some of the syllables or a set of letters that make a sound are highlighted in red. Now, this is important to note, so make sure you jot it down. The stress or the emphasis will always be on the second to last syllable. If it's a two syllable word, it'll be on the first one, right? So, Ashlen, right? So, stress on the first syllable. Chantli, chi chi, right? It is just one sound. Ehekat uh, is our three syllables, right? Ehekat. So the stress is in the he. Itoka, uh, right? Second to last, stress in the to. La paloa, right? So three syllables. So the stress is in the pa. Tla baloa. In wahka, it's two syllables, so the stress is in the wah, right? Wahka. Nehnemi. Tla machtiket, right? So second to last, right? K, right? K. The K is always a k sound. Uh, in classical, it's a C a C sound with the letters A and O. Gakistli, 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 right, gakistli. Again, you can see the, the meaning on the right. Goat, goat, goat. Go at, right? So two syllable word, it stresses in the go. It's not go at, it's go at. Uh, KW or it's a CU in classical, qu, right? So with the vowels, qua, que, qui. Qua, que, qui. Qua, que, qui. Qua, que, qui. Here are some examples. Qua, week. Qua, week. Qua, week. Qua, week. Que soli. Que soli. Que soli. Que soli. Quitlat, 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 quitlat. Right, so qua, que, qui, 
You see it written how it's written in classical. C-U-A, C-U-E, C-U-I. Qua, que, qui. Right, and the meanings are on the right. The L, just like, that, like the pronunciation in English, uh, right? Biali, 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 right? And some words like the Biali in classical and this word tamali, you'll see two L sounds, never pronounced like the J sound in Spanish. It's a long L sound, tamali. Tamali, tamali, tamali. The M, right? Same sound, misto, 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 misto. Or you can also pronounce the soft N sound, miston, miston, miston. Miston. Uh, in Chicontepec, Veracruz, Nahuatl, you tend to just drop the N. In other variants, even within the Huasteca, the N is pronounced. So it's either misto or miston. Mm, right, same sound. No nana. No nana. No nana. No nana. Or no nanan, no nanan, no nanan, no nanan. Oh, oh, ostot, 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 ostot. Oquili, 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 oquili. Oquili, or you can also pronounce the N. Oquilin, 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 Oquilin. Now you'll notice that in classical, the Z, right? Z, we'll get into it a little later, but the Z is always an S sound, never like the Z sound in English, always an S sound. Right, same sound, right? This letter, papalot, 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 papalot. Now, in the writing in Nahuatl, so no, no accents are, are written, right? So as you go along, as you learn more, this the stress or the emphasis will, all, will just come second nature to you right just for now just be mindful of it so as you're writing down the words maybe underline it or write it in a different color so you know you get used to it so we get to what i said earlier right so s sounds right z in classical always an s sound okay just be mindful that it's never a z sound like in english right so we have saniloa 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 tlascamati 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 right so Always an S sound. Uh, in other variants, it's Tlaso Kamati, right? So in the Waseca, they tend to just say Tlas Kamati, right? But Tlaso Kamati is also understood, right? So saying thank you depends as well, um, but it's never Tlas Kamatli, never. Uh, it's Tlaskamati, Tlasokamati. Uh, in some Guerrero variants, they also say Tlashtlawi, so it depends on the variant, but never Tlaskamatli. It's Tlaskamati. C E, I'm sorry, S E, S I, or C E, 
CI in classical, again, it's always an S cell, right? So say, not again, but when you see CE or CI in classical, it's always an S sound. Uh, and the new orthography is with an S because it's an S sound, right? So say, 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 say. See what, see what, see what, see what. Now, before we get to the TL sound, um, one thing to note uh, in Nahuatl uh, is that the vowel sounds, these are the vowel sounds, and they are pure vowels, meaning they will never change sound, right? It'll always be the same sound no matter what word it is. So, a, e, i, o. A, e, E O A E I O A E I O Right so these letters will always make those sounds the sounds will never change right it'll always be the same sound not like, not like in English, there's uh, several vowel sounds depending on what letters it's next to, depending on the word. But in Nahuatl, it's always A, E, I, O. Good thing to know about that. Um, the TL sound. Uh, I did post this on Speak Nahuatl and also on, on my TikTok. It's an air sound. It's voiceless meaning that you don't use your vocal cords to say or pronounce this sound, right? So take note of that, take note it's one sound, right? So one, make a T sound, right? Let's do it four times, just a T sound. T, 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 t. Two, make an L sound. Uh, 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 uh. And three combine both quickly. All right, I'll let you try it first. Okay, try it four times. Right, so it's right so your tongue is in the back of your upper teeth and a little bit below right um, so first to practice the sound right so you'll feel air coming out of both sides of your mouth, right? So I know that you might, might have seen uh, this method maybe on TikTok. I wonder where they got it from. <laughs> um, so A, E, I, O, those are the vowel sounds, right? So let's practice with the vowels, right? So let's do it four times each. Vowel sound, right? So, tla, 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 tle, 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 Slow, slow. Right, so the T T L O you won't see it, but this this is just for practice. Okay. Now we can now switch the vowel sound and the T L sound. Right. So remember A E I O. At. 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 
at it 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 ot 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 now um let's practice again right so tla tle tli tlo tla tle tli tlo tla tle tli tlo at et it ot at et it ot at et it ot right so we have some words to practice right so we have tlakat 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 see what see what see what see what a mostly a mostly a mostly a mostly right as you practice you'll be you'll get it um however if you can't pronounce the tl sound you can just say t you can just say the t right so there are some variants that don't have the tl sound right so we have um tlakat another variance is just takat right uh see what another variance is just see what right with the t sound at the end right so just be mindful of that um you know as you go along as you practice you'll get it right but if you can't just just pronounce it as a t right um the next sound is a ts sound right so it's similar but with an s um, you'll see this TZ in classical. Again, the Z is always pronounced as an S, never a Z sound in English, never. Um, this is, I know this is not a, an, an English word, uh, but it's in this word, right? So pronounce this word for me right now. Right, so it's pizza, right? So tsa. So just the second syllable, tsa, tsa, right? So tsa, right? You can also practice with the vowels, right? So tsa, tse, tsi, tso, tsa, tse, tsi, tso, tsa, tse, tsi, tso, right? So we have Sakwa, 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 sakwa. Seyok, sotso, 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 sotso. Right again, you can look in the right for its meaning. Uh, the W or a H U in classical. Um, the H is silent and is like a W sound, right? So we have again with these sounds, you know, you can also practice with the vowels, right? So we have wa we we wa we we, right? In classical, it's in U H with the vowels, so wa we we wa we we right so wakash 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 we wet we wet we wet we wet we 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 Right, so this is when the H is silent in classical orthography. Okay, this is not huacash, huehuet, 
Huihui, Ashkana, no. Wakash, Wewet, Wiwi. Right, so the X, uh, the X is always a sh sound, like when you're shushing someone or like the word shoe, right? So always X is always a sh sound. Now we have this word, right? In Spanish pronunciation or any other language, but now it's Sochil, right? You, you'll see it pronounced as Sochil or Sochi. Um, and it has two sounds, right? It has the sh sound and it has the ch sound. The difference between both is that the X or the sh sound is more, it flows more. So again, we can practice with the vowels, right? Sha, she, she, sho, right? Sha, she, she, sho. As opposed to the ch, la che, right? Cha, che, chi, cho, right? Cha, che, chi, cho, cha, che, chi, cho. So it's more of a broken sound, right? The x or the sh sound is a sh sound, right? So this word has both. It has the sh and the ch, right? Shochi. Shochik, 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 right? Shochik, right? And remember the TL sound. Again, if you can't pronounce the TL right now, you can just say shochit, right? Shochit, uh, because in some variants there is no L, it's just a T, right? Shochik, uh, shochik, right? And then the next one is shali, shali. Shali, right? Again, you can see its meaning on the right. Shali. The Y is like a soft J sound, right? So we have Yolot, right? Again, double L sound, never just sound, long L sound. Yolot, 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 right? Another word that ends in TL, right? You can practice with that one. Yolot. Um, right, so here again, soft J sound. Uh, it's not it's not a strong J sound like in Spanish, like tlayi. It's more tlayi, 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 tlayi. Right, tlayi, tlayi, tlayi. Um, you'll see also an I Y, I Y. It's a long I sound or a soft J sound. Let's try it both ways, right? So, because you'll see both uh, pronunciations, or it, it it either makes sense as a long I sound for some folks, or it makes sense as a soft J sound for some other folks. Right, so we have I, Y, Bialli, Bialli, right? So let's try it with the long I sound. Bialli, 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 Bialli. Nokia, 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 Nokia. Chia, 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 chia. Gastolia, 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 gastolia. Right, so let's try it as a soft J sound. Bialli, 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 bialli. Nochkia, 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 Chia, 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 Castolia, Castolia, 
Castolilla. Castolilla. Que qui. In classical, you'll see it written as Q U E or Q U I, right? The U is silent and it's a K sound. Again, for English speakers, you would, you know, it, it makes sense for us to pronounce it as que and qui, ashkana. It's never pronounced as que and qui. Again, this is also a Spanish based orthography with classical. So, Think, you know, put your Spanish hat on, right? So this is pronounced que, qui, que, qui. Um, so here are some examples. We'll go over the W that's inside, but for now, let's practice this word that we're gonna work with a lot. So it's important to be able to pronounce it correctly, right? So we have genichki, right? Genichki. Um, it's a sound inside. It's a W in the new orthography, but it's a UH in the classical orthography, right? Genichki, 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 genichki. Kikisi, 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 kikisi. Right? Kikisi. Again, you can see its meaning here as well. Right? Also, with the word for rain, the noun, right? Kiawit. 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 Right? So always a ki sound, never a qui. Right? Kiawit uh, is never a word for rain, it's kiawit. Kiawit. You have kikisi and kiawit and kanihki, right? So also, um, it's a good word to take note of. So let me just write it down, right? So kiawit, right? Kiawit, kiawit. Kiawit. Right, kiawit. Kiawit. Right, in classical, you'll see it being written as kiawit. Right, kiawit. Right, the stress is in the A. Right, This is how it's written in classical, right? There's another way, but let's just stick uh, to um, this way again now. Uh, one moment, let me make sure that it's highlighted, right? Stress always in the A, kiawik, can now. And this means rain, 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 the noun, right? Not the verb. This is the noun. <clears throat> so we're, start, we're gonna get started with the W sound or the UH in classical, right? So, We have Donati, 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 right? So in Waseca is silent, but it's also perhaps a soft J sound. So you'll also probably see it written with the J at the end, Donati. It's so soft that you can barely hear it. Donati, Donati. Donati, right? Again, we're going over classic uh, Huasteca pronunciation right now, right? So remember that Huasteca is a variant that we learn and teach 
that we focus on mostly. Um, yeah, right, and you can go on the right to see its meaning, yeah, 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 right? The W is silent in all of these three words. When you see the W outside of a word, it is silent in Huasteca Nahuatl, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wala, 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 wala. Right, so now in the new orthography, it's either without a W or with a W. It's either or. Both are correct. Ya, wala, ya, wala. Same pronunciation. Right, so you see in classical, it's a UH, right? Donati, ya, wala. Right, so when you see the UH in what's like the pronunciation, it's silent. It's also um, in the word, like for example, tonati, it's a very soft aspiration, like a sound, but it's so silent and you can barely hear it. Um, sorry, so soft that you can barely hear it. Uh, then we have a W or a UH still, but inside this time inside of a word, right? In classical, it's a silent U and H has a voice. So inside of a word, the W is like a sound, like, like the words heart, hurt, hit, hut, right? Or like a soft J sound in Spanish, like the personal name Juan, right? So this is why it's pronounced, this word is pronounced Kenihiki, Kenihiki, right? In classical, Kenihiki, 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 right? Same pronunciation, just different orthographies, right? So you remember that we're going over the new orthography and also the classical orthography if it's pronounced. Um, if it's pronounced. Um, sorry, if, if it's Q-U-E and Q-U-I as well, remember it's ke ki kenihiki. If it's inside, right, W. Nisiahtok, 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 nisiahtok. Kwahtli, kwahtli. Quartly, quartly. Right? Um, in classical variants and central variants, the U is pronounced, uh, sorry, the W is pronounced. So you also hear another variant, Donatio, 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 Donatio. Right? This would be pronounced Kenyuki. Right, Kenyuki, Nisiautok, Kwautli, Kwautli. Right, so Huasteca, uh, Tonati, Ya, Wala, Kenihiki, Nisiautok, Kwautli. Right, another in classical um, and in um, central variants, Tonatiu. Right, Kenyuki, Nisiautok, Kwautli. The next sound, UK, right, or UC. U is silent and it's a K sound. Nectli, 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 Nectli. Iksik, 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 right? Iksik, right again, the meaning is right there, you know. So that is it for today's class, you know. Um, this was the Nahuatl alphabet and pronunciation. Dimoitase uh, for lesson uh, four. Dimoitase, nos vemos, we'll see each other.